Hello, I'm working on a small piece just now, uh, just a bit of fun really, and um, I, I wanted a, a pad in it on the Phantom. Now, of course, the Phantom has tons of pads, but I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to actually show you the process of using the Roland Cloud Manager, selecting a sound, getting that sound, using it in a DAW, um, but also exporting it so that you can get it into the Phantom and start using it into your 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 compositions and your productions on board the Phantom. Right, similar, of course, process for the Jupiter X series or the MC707, any of the Zencore um, capable instruments, it's exactly the same process. But um, this is going to focus on the Phantom. Uh, and this is a piece that I'm, I'm working on just now, just to let you know, because it's this sound. It's lovely, beautiful sound. I just want a nice pad behind that, but let's hear it in full effect. back to after the process. Now I am going to um, switch off this video now and we're going to go over to the screen and take it from there. See you there. Just before we go to the on-screen view I thought it would be a good idea to show you how everything is set up. The Phantom's on my right, you've just seen that, and that is going into the MX-1 like all my hardware is going. Um, and then that is the audio interface into my Windows 11 PC which is running Ableton 11 suite, live suite. Um, this is an MC707, it's not part of the setup at the moment but it is powered up but it's just sneakily hiding there, uh, or not so sneakily because those lights, they, they, they're great. Um, and then on the right here we have the Ableton push, it's active but it's not going to be used in this exercise. And then what you're hearing is through a Shure uh, SM7B uh, into the Go Mixer Pro here, just here, and that's going into my iPhone, um, and that's uh, how all this is hooked up for the purposes of this demo. Right, okay, let's go on to um, looking at screen view and getting into the Rolling Cloud Manager. Right, here we are in front of the screen, ready for the next stage in finding a pad so that I can develop out the idea that I played to you earlier. So let's crack on and open up the Roland Cloud Manager. And there we go, we can see that this update's available. That's always nice to read. Wonder what we've got today. Right, we've got, oh, house samples, tech house samples. They're available, that's great. Um, and Phantom can use them. Uh, Aerophone sound packs, which is uh, really good to bear in mind that that is Encore compatible now as well, so it's useful. Um, what else is patches for legacy instruments? Uh, not the original gear, the soft synths, the new um, recreations uh, for the, the cloud. Um, and here, this is the bits that we're interested in. Zencore sound packs, 99 and 100. 100, the number 100, is brilliant. It's really good. It's called Holy Keys and absolutely tremendous um, programming, um, very rich sounds, and um, I, I love pads and soundscapes, and this is an excellent collection. 16 sounds, and it's 99 cents for um, most subscriptions, I think. Um, <clears throat> but uh, really cool, well worth the money. Um, so um, the cloud manager is constantly being updated with new content, as you can see. And this is the news feed, which is where you land when RCM opens up. Um, and, and actually, just thinking about it, I think let's follow the 100 and just have a little look. If you click on the news item, you go to the news page. And there's some nice content in here, but it, it's not actually linking to the music or the, the, the sounds. So how do we do that? We go to our library. Now, the first and important thing to say about this is um, 
don't think if yours looks different to mine don't panic <laughs> everybody's going to look different because we've got different subscriptions we've installed different things we've got different lifetime keys um we've got different um, filters so um this is just the way that mine looks when uh, um, it defaults when it opens um yours may look different uh and as you can see there's a lot <laughs> tons of content instruments drum machines um samples patches uh huge stuff some just for the hardware some for software and hardware um lots of things so thankfully they put filters in and because we know we're looking for phantom stuff um i'm i'm gonna uh, filter for the phantom um these exz's are brilliant if you don't already have them get get hold of them because they're the original well 90 percent of the original um cards the physical cards that used to uh, you'd screw it into the modules the jv modules or the, the old phantom um phantom g's um absolutely great they're full of waveforms that are still used in commercial production today it's uh, that's how you know they've been around for a while but my gosh it's because they're good um okay uh, we were going to look at number 100. Yes, so if we go to and click on the library item, we then go to the library page, which is different, which then starts saying, well, I've installed it. There's the price of it. Um, and majestically layered synthesizers for Zen core instruments. So they're not wrong, not wrong. Um, it's just, uh, you know, play anyway. <laughs> Very nice, very coral and and lush and thick. Again, lovely little soundscapes being generated and moods and nice little plucks going on. Love it. Great. I'll leave it for you to go and explore more with the sounds. I recommend that you go get it. Um, but we're still on our quest to get that pad sound for my little idea. So I happen to know, and as I said, I'm a mug for pads and all all those lovely movement and textures. And I know there's a collection that jumps out at me, and that's uh, Lush Plucks and Pads, strangely enough. And I can click on Install here and um, start the process. So let's do that. Uh, first thing it does is it checks your license, and it, it queues it, and then it installs it. As you saw, it was really quick. It's because it's tiny file. There's no waveforms or samples involved. It's just instruction sets for the parameters. So um, that's cool. We've downloaded it, installed it, but installed it where? It's not on the Phantom. I can't use it. So um, there's a stage in between, and that's called Xenology because where it's gone is the Xenology library. So let's go have a look at that. Let's come out of the cloud, because we're finished with the cloud, it's done its job, and that's great. Cool. Let's move on. So I use Ableton 11 Live Suite, and so this is it. This is a, an empty session. There's nothing else going on, and here's Xenology. So let's open up an instance of Xenology. There she is, and as you can see, I was using the SDZ100 Cathedralism. That was actually the, the very choral one that we actually heard, I think. Um, so um, we can click on that, and you'll see here's all, the, this is all of them. There's, you know, I don't know how many thousands there are, <laughs> but they're there. Uh, but I want to find 84, because that is what we just installed. There we go, Lush Pluck and Pad. And here we have the sounds. So I can just audition them here. I'm using push to trigger. Lovely. Rachel's owl. I wonder I wonder where the inspiration for that came. There you go. <laughs> Very good, though. I'll switch it on. Mm. 
lovely. But I happen to know which one I want, actually. It's into orbit pad. Um, that's a... Lovely. Just, oh, glorious. Absolutely glorious. So that's cool. We've selected that. Um, if I wanted to edit it, I could actually um, here. Um, you can see, oh, it's big. It's got four partials. And the first partial is super saws, and it's got two different saws, then a pad and a bell, strings and PWM, uh, voice and uh, unison sync. So there's a lot going on with that sound, actually. A lot going on, but um, it sounds magnificent. Um, so I want to get this out of Xenology and into the Phantom. How do I do that? What I do is I write it. What I do is I'm going to create a new bank. These are all my banks that I've created. And I'm going to write into OrbitPad into that bank. So I'm going to create a new one, initial five. And it just creates a, a document of 128 blanks in this bank. And I'm going to write that into the first slot. Okay. And there you go. That's it. It's done. It's in. Now, although that's saved and it's in Xenology and I can pull that up, I could create pads and brasses and, you know, all sorts of collections like this. But I want to export it because I want to get it into the Phantom. So what I do is I get that and we get the plugin or hardware. Now, there's a little bit of a, a bug here in that um, I have to search. There we go. Um, so plug-in, hardware, I'm going to select that and go like that and I'm going to put that into the desktop and there we go, we've done it um, we no longer need the services of Synology or Ableton so thank you guys here we are, we've got our initial um, 5 I'm lazy, I'm terrible. I know that I'm just going to use it as a, a one-off transition. I'm not going to use it for collection purposes, so I just stick with the default. Now I put in the the disc, the USB from the Phantom. I always get this with Windows 10 and 11. It says, oh, scan and fix. And whether I scan and fix or not, it still works perfectly, so I ignore it. Continue without scanning. Um, and here we have the root, Roland. I have the Phantom Jupiter X, and then there's the sound file, sorry, folder. And that's where we're going to put it in. Oh, you see, there you go. There's an old one in there. Um, get rid of that. And what we're going to do is just drag that over into that USB stick into the sound folder. Make sure it goes into sound folder. Um, and then we're good. That's it. We're done. We can now take that um, USB stick and put it into the Phantom and go to the next stage of getting it so that we can use it in that idea of mine. So we'll close here just now and see you in front of the Phantom in just a moment. Right, now for the last part of getting this pad sound into the Phantom so that we can use it in this scene. Right, so um, just before we do that, I'll just explain what's going on here in... Um, zone 1, I have Space Piano, which is my own sound that I sampled from a V-Synth sound that I created um, like little droplets of sound, just gorgeous um, and then in track, in, sorry, in Zone 5, I have an out-of-the-box supernatural acoustic harp together we have the plucks and the droplets lovely and I'm wanting a pad just to have give a, a little bit of a tail or a different texture and maybe sound a little bit fuller as well when I, I deliberately hold on keys a little bit longer than normal so let's get to it let's get this sound in how do we do that we start by triggering the import routine so we press the menu then we get utility 
we go to import we then import the tone it's a zen core not a model sound so that's cool and we go and there's the contents of the usb initial five you'll remember that from the xenology on screen perfect that's what i wanted to see and there's our into orbit pad everything is green for go lovely next now what the phantom does is shows you where it's going to put the sound now it might be at the end of your user bank because that's the next available initialized slot or it might be you've initialized a sound and it's in the middle of somewhere um as you can see here i've got sounds at 203 going up to 210 but 202 is free so it's saying i'm going to put it there i can uncheck it and select another place uh, instead if that's what I wanted to do but I'm happy with 202 let's execute I'm sure and this doesn't take long that's real time it doesn't take long at all because it's, it's um, no waveforms or samples involved so let's exit out of that let's go to zone view and have a look now let's just navigate to 202 there we have it into orbit pad let's hear how the sounds <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Love it. Let's try it with the droplets. The that is amazing and exactly what I wanted. So, um, I've got to try this. Let's, let's try it with the System 8 doing the plinks and plonks with the ARPs. Fantastic, exactly what I wanted to do. Guys, I'm going to leave you right there because I want to go and work on this. I hope you've got some ideas and that you're going to go off and work on those as well. So there's how you use the Roland Cloud to get sounds and put them onto your Phantom so that you can go out and create. Have loads of fun. Remember to share your creations with us in the Facebook group. And uh, all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.